Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and it's been a while. So the reason, um, actually, oh, there's Miss Micah. Um, come here, Mimi. Um, she likes to climb in my chair. So my big girl. The reason it's I've been gone for a while is after four years, I officially got COVID. Okay, down, down, down. I don't think she wants to get down. My pretty bye bye. Hop down, down please. Thank you, Bubba. Um, I officially caught COVID. So I have had no scent or smell for about a week. Now I have two orders here. Um, so I'm going to be doing two videos. Um, oops, sorry about that. And I'm at a different angle only because my cats are in their beds underneath my, my chair. And so, okay, I'm back. My, uh, stand was falling. But anyway, so the cats under, are underneath me, so I'm kind of at a different angle. Usually I'm faced more this way, but I don't want to move them. They're all, you know, hunkered down in their beds. So um, my first video today is going to be my Waxy Taffy pre-order. So let's see. It was December 28th that I placed the order. I believe she went for about a week or something like that. Um, so here's my order. See, it's not terrible, right? So not, not bad. I did get some scoops. So I got my handy dandy little spoon and she sent a card with her order or with the order. So home of the taffy shaped wax melts. She wraps everything really nice and usually I'm good at unwrapping it. So I will probably try and cut that out of the video, me unwrapping them. Um, so I'll get to that right now. And when I come back, I will have them unwrapped. Okay, so they're all unwrapped. And one thing I must have forgotten to do must have been in a hurry when I was placing the order is, so her wax comes wrapped like taffy. If you do a pre-order with her, you can request that the wax not be wrapped. Cause now I'll go through and I will unwrap all of these. Um, it just makes it a lot easier for me when I go to put my wax out to have them not wrapped. Um, leave Pookie alone. My my, leave Pookie alone. She gonna beat you up there, doggy. Um, okay, so let's get started. Honestly, it's been a couple months, so I really don't remember what I ordered. I could have duplicates. I'm honestly not sure. Okay, so the first one, Double Mint Noel. Double Mint Noel is Peppermint, Buttermints, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I am so happy to have my scent back. I didn't, um, I didn't warm wax. I didn't have my warmers on, nothing, because what would be the point? I could say, oh, can you smell it? And if you can't smell it, why, why warm it? So it's so good to finally have my, my sniffer back. But this is fantastic. But you know I love a good, wonderful, fantastic mint. And this one does not disappoint. I believe her RTS might start today. Double Mint Noel might be one that I would have to pick up again. It is just a fantastic, very strong peppermint with the mint and the vanilla, the buttermint. It's, it's wonderful. I don't know if I got any duplicates. Let me see. Nope, no duplicates. Okay. The next one, Tiffany's Lavender peppermint cupcakes. So it's cupcakes at Tiffany's, sweet lavender, and peppermint. Well, it looks like butter's moving. Pookie's still in her bed though, so. All right, so my sniffer's not back, oh, my hair, my sniffer's not back 100%, but the very first thing I smell on this is that cupcakes at Tiffany chocolate note. Um, yeah, it's just, 
I'm not sure that I smell the lavender, but maybe my lavender nose isn't back yet. I know that that's, that's one that is a bit of a challenge is the lavender. Yeah, I'm not, in my nose right now, I'm not smelling the lavender. But I do smell the cupcakes at Tiffany's and I do really like cupcakes at Tiffany's, so that's good. All right, sweet zucchini cupcakes. And this one is zucchini bread cupcakes topped with vanilla buttercream and crunchy bits of toffee. This one in my nose right now is a touch light. I can I can smell the zucchini bread. And you know, I am like, I love zucchini bread. Oh, it, I mean, it's so good, but it does seem a little light. And it could be that maybe my snozzle isn't fully working yet. Um, I did put a fruit scent out today and I used a scoopable thinking, okay, it might be, a, you know, a bit stronger that maybe I'll use the scoopable and I can smell it. Um, so I'm very excited about that part. So this one is either a bit light or I'm having a harder time smelling it, but what I do smell is delicious. I, I just think it's fantastic, but I love zucchini bread. It's been so hard not warming since. I mean, I did one, I did a Scentsy one at work and it's like, what was the point? You know, I couldn't even smell it and so I ended up warming um, a really, really strong one I get from Cam Jack Wax and I could smell it and I'm like, oh, it, I mean, it was just, you know, when you, you finally get your sniffer back and you're like, yes, I can smell my wax. You know, for those of us who have this wax passion or, you know, whatever, it's just, it's always so good to finally be able to give back to what you love. And when you can't smell anything, it just sucks. All right, next one, starfruit mango lime soda. This one might be hard for me to smell, we'll see. Crisp starfruit, juicy mangoes, and tangy lime mixed into a fizzy lemon lime soda pop. That sounds so delicious. Oh, and it is. You definitely get that fizzy. It's fantastic. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. That fizzy note in here. I have missed fizzy scents. I really don't have a whole lot of them. And to me, I love fizzy scents for freshening the air. Some people use fruits, lemons, maybe laundry, you know, green scents, those kinds of things. I love fizzy soda for freshening my air. And that one did not disappoint. All right, this one, we'll see. It's strawberry mango cotton candy cream puff. And you know, I'm not the world's largest strawberry fan. So simply strawberry, fresh mangoes, blue cotton candy, and our signature cream puff. All right, it's okay. I think I will enjoy it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. To me, I think raspberry mixed with mango would be fantastic, but it smells good. I think I'll, I'll like that one. So there's that one. I got another lemon meringue. I already have, I think I have two and maybe scoopables of lemon meringue. Oh, I even got it in a scoopable. So lemon meringue pie. She has a really good lemon meringue pie. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <clears throat> Man lemon curd which lemon curd is so strong and it to me it's really sweet and it it you know it makes your mouth water you know that you're really wanting to get some lemon oh it's fantastic so lemon curd whipped marshmallow meringue and buttery pie crust mm, man that's so good if you love a good lemon bakery, you need to try Waxy Taffy's um, lemon meringue pie. So as we know, I already said, I also got it in the scoopable. The only problem with scoopables, if you saw my community post, you'll see that I stacked all my Scentsy Wax and then up above, I have all my scoopables. Well, the thing is that she doesn't put the name on the front. 
I really, really wish she would put the name on the front. Yeah, she puts it on the top, but I don't stack my wax like this. I stack it like this. So I have to go through and label the front. Even if she put, you know, it on the front and the top, I don't know. I just really wish the name was on the front. But anyway. Oh, oh, that is so fun. I almost stuck my nose in there. Look. <laughs> that was fun. That was unexpected. All right. Oh, so good, guys. Her lemon is fantastic. You need to try her lemon. And then I had to get It's a Situation. So as you know, this is one of my absolute, I would say, hands down favorite blender scents. Now, I do warm it on its own, and I love it. Now, I believe Ashley sent me hers. Um, she sent me some that she had tried and didn't particularly care for. It's Funfetti Cake cannolis, iced sugar cookies, and fresh baked bread. Now, I don't get the fresh baked bread aspect of it. Oh, it is just the most sweet, but not like headache inducing sweet. The most fantastic blender. It's a situation is amazing. Um, oh gosh, it was maybe two or three. No, it has to be longer ago than that. Several, I think, pre-orders ago, I asked her if she could pour the It's a Situation in scoopables. Because if there's something that's too strong in a certain scent category that might give me a headache, I add a little bit of It's a Situation and it makes it amazing. So I highly, highly recommend this blend by itself and in a mix. It's the most fantastic blender. I would say out of all my vendors, all my Scentsy, everything, it is hands down my absolute favorite mix-in scent for anything. Love it. All right, so I got three of the scoopables. We already saw the lemon. I got a double mint Noel. Oh, it also had fun. Oh, so good, so, so good. And what else did I get? Oh, and a sweet zucchini um, cupcakes. Oh, see, and I can smell it really good there. Oh, it's so good. So I, knowing me, I'm probably going to hop on to the, the RTS and pick up a couple more. I do really enjoy Waxy Taffy. Uh, her scents really do really well for me. Um, I like her aesthetic. I mean, she has her niche. The, I, I don't do the brittle part, which we'll, we'll do the samples that I got too, and one is a brittle. I don't do those just because, you know, it comes, they're just like little snaps, and not really my thing. I much prefer a, a measured out size, so that's why I tend to go with a taffy, and then I forgot to, to say, please don't wrap mine, so it's all good. It gives me something to do while watching TV, right? Um, okay, so my samples. Oh, no, that's right. Double Mint Noel in body spray. I, I told you I was on a mint kit for a while. Oh man, that smells so good. All right, that smells fantastic. Cannot wait to get into that. All right, my samples, cherry swirl cheesecake. And it is one of her little snap bars, or snaps, I waxy, I don't know what she calls it, to be quite honest, because I usually don't like these. But you know, see, they break real easy. This one is mouthwatering aroma of homemade cheesecake swirled with decadent cherries and baked to perfection. This is actually a very nice cherry. It is not a sour um, cheesecake. This is fantastic. Cherry swirled cheesecake. That's really, really good. I like that. I might have to pick some of that up. And I have been branching out in my laundry, so this is fun. Sun-dried citrus linen. I do really like these scents in my laundry room. It just kind of creates a, a fresh scent in the laundry room. My laundry room is, comp is, you come in through the house, through the laundry room is connected to the kitchen. So, you know, it does kind of travel into the kitchen, but um, a refreshing blend that combines crisp citrus notes with the clean, airy scent of sun, uh, fresh sun-dried linens. Citrus and linens, I think, would be fantastic. This one's just okay. I can, I can smell the citrus in it, but I'm not sure that this is, would be my favorite, like, linen scent. It's okay. 
Okay, we'll see. I will warm it. I did just put some wax in um, in the laundry room, but I will warm it and I'll see. I'll see what I think of this. So that was my waxy taffy. Yes, I know it's been a while. I'm probably a little bit, you know, hyper with regards to my wax. Um, I'm not really ordering right now. I have one order out um, and, and I might uh, check out the RTS. I really don't need wax. If you guys saw the shelves on my community post and in my Instagram, you'll see I have a lot of wax and that is just what can be stacked. That doesn't include anything that's in bags and, and all that kind of stuff. I have a lot of wax and I'm not even going to count it. I don't know how Maggie can do that and count all her wax. It's like, oh my goodness, I'd get lost. So that's what I have for you from my Waxy Taffy pre-order from December slash January. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.